guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. Today we are doing a video where I'm going to talk about um, basically my favorite makeup that I use when I'm not on camera. Just things that I reach for that I trust that I know will do me good and I want to share that with you because a lot of these products I don't necessarily mention on my channel. They might be discontinued or in a lot of my channel I'm trying to use new things or try different things um, so I don't often have these products on camera because they're just my go-to's you know I'm not trying to cast a special light on them because they're not new and yeah so I thought this would be a good idea to show you what makeup I use when the camera is turned off with primer I don't necessarily uh, Oh, I don't always use a primer when I want my go-to like for everyday makeup I don't wear a primer but if I did um, it would be my La Mer and I don't feature this much on my channel for obvious reasons I got this from work um, but I think it retails for like $150 or something just ridiculous it's I wouldn't I don't want to promote this because it's no primer is worth that much in my opinion however it is beautiful. It is the perfecting primer, so it's smoothing. With a primer, hydrating is lovely, but I have moisturizers to do that. With a primer, I do like something that is smoothing that is actually going to make my face look a little bit more flawless. So for that reason, this is my favorite primer that I am using off the camera. Uh, with foundation, and a lot of these options, not everything, but some of my options, I'll have something that I use more every day and then something that I reach for for more going out uh, because they are often similar things. Like my going out foundation is pretty much standard the same. And then my everyday, it does mix up, but I have my go-to. I want something easy to put on, but still look good. So for my going out foundation, I mention this all the time but it's not as easily accessible. Uh, this is Face Atelier, and this is the Ultra Foundation. I am the shade 2 Ivory. Now this is like a makeup artist foundation. It is just stunning. I'm wearing this one today, and I'm wearing the primer as well. I'll let you know which products I'm wearing. Um, everything I'm wearing today is what I'm mentioning and this one is like my fifth or sixth bottle it's crazy how many bottles I've bought of this over the year before I really got into makeup this was the, like the one foundation that I had that I would repeat purchase and even now as someone who has a lot of foundations this is still one of my favorite foundations I know that you can buy this in Australia from PM studio which they have a store in Sydney but I don't know otherwise how you'd buy it otherwise. Um, you'd have to do research if you are really interested in trying this. It's like a medium-ish coverage. I'd say it's buildable to medium. It's uh, dewy to satin. It's not heavily dewy. It's not natural. It's kind of in between. It's just stunning. I just love it. It just makes my skin look radiant and I love it. So that is my foundation that I always reach for. And then for every day, I love the Hourglass Illusion. I have, this is my second one in the shade Ivory, which is more of a summer shade. And then I also have Shell, which is more of a wintry shade. So um, this I would say is uh, close to a medium coverage. It's a skin tint, but it's got good coverage. This is really nicely applied with the fingers or a brush. I wouldn't use a sponge with this just because it's a really thick consistency, which a lot of people hate, but it doesn't bother me because it looks fantastic on the skin. This is good for more mature skin. Um, I would say more normal-ish skin. I feel like really oily would not like it and really dry wouldn't like it. But if you're not on the extreme of each side, then you would like this. Um, and it's got a little bit SPF, but shade range is horrible, like a lot of skin tints are and hourglass. Um, but I just love it. It just makes my skin look flawless, absolutely flawless. Okay, powder, I have one powder that I go to and it's a brightening powder and it's my Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Powder. It's like $22 and as you can see, it's well loved. I just love it because I know it's gonna be good. It's really finely milled 
And I just, I'm the type of person that only powders in my T-zone anyway, which is where I want to brighten. Uh, so this is the perfect powder for me for that reason. If you have dry skin, I can vouch for you that this is fantastic because I have, I am normal to dry. In summer, I'm not dry, but pretty much every other time I'm dry-ish. And this powder is just my go-to. I absolutely love it. I love using it. And I just know it's, it's, fail proof basically uh, for my concealer it is my I realize I've got a few hourglass products <laughs> um, my hourglass vanish concealer in the shade cream it's pinky it's brightening it's full coverage I love a full coverage uh, concealer uh, that's the whole purpose right to conceal so I love it with a bit of full coverage but it's just the doe foot the, the packaging doesn't make it better, but it's a nice little bonus. But the actual formula is fantastic and I just love it. And this lays beautifully on top of this. And then this lays beautifully underneath everything. You know, you know how you kind of get that routine that you know that your face really loves. Um, so I feel like those, all those three really look good together. Um, but this looks good with everything in my opinion. And I prefer a uh, concealer with a little bit of pinkiness, unless I'm going for every day where I just like to color match. But if I'm going for like more of a flawless look, I like a bit of pink and just love it. I just think it's fantastic. My favorite brow product that I use all the time and I just checked and I'm almost finished it and I'm really devastated because it's expensive. It's the Benefit Precisely My Brow and I am in the shade two. The reason why I love this is the shade match. I'm wearing this one today and I just love, I feel like it's my shade match. I also have number three, which is a little bit darker. Sometimes I like a darker brow, but this number two is just perfect. I love the formula of it, but you know where, oh, that's all I have left. You know where I bought this and I am waiting, 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 waiting. So I live in Sydney and I want to say two years ago, I had my first daughter, I took her with me and it was not pram friendly and I had to carry her around this sale. It was chaotic, it was very stressful, but it was worth it. It was a benefit pop-up sale in Paddington and it was like for one or two days, I drove there because I don't live that close to Paddington. I'm not too far, but it's still a drive. I drove there. It was so worth it. So I didn't buy these individually. They came in like brow packs. Um, I bought all of those little mini um, hula bronzer and those little mini blushes that I have, that I have in my project pan. I bought from this sale. Everything that I own from Benefit, I bought from this sale and it was the best sale. I want them to do it again and I'm getting angry about it. I need to calm down. Um, but it was such a good sale because I find benefit quite expensive. Um, and like, this is like $40. That's a lot for a small little brow pencil. And I want them to do that sale again. It's been years and I follow them on Facebook and I'm an Instagram benefit Australia's Instagram. I really hope they do another one because it was so good. And knowing how good it is, I would proper stock up next time. Anyway, that's another time for another story. I just told the whole story. Anyway, so good. Sorry about the tangent, but I had to let you know. That's why I have these. And I've been like saving it for the moments. Uh, like I would wear this when I go out is essentially what I'm saying because it's like my ride or die brow product. Right, bronzer, I uh, know contour first. Cause I love a contour. I haven't left 2016 and I'm okay with that. I contour, you wouldn't really know. Actually, you can kind of tell. I just like to have a little bit of chisel. I do. And I love the Anastasia. This is in my project pan, um, but I like to put some products in my project pan that I absolutely love because I want to get use out of it. So this contour is phenom, love it. And it just, it never dies. So I can use it a million times and it's still gonna be there for me. You know, it's not gonna leave my side. And then for bronzer, I actually finished my go-to bronzer. I will show you. It was the Laguna shade, but it's not the Laguna shade. So um, I don't know if you know this, but NARS is a little bit notorious for calling something N Laguna 
when it's not in like their holiday sets. So this one was a little bit more cooler toned, more neutral than the original Laguna. Even though it's called Laguna, I don't know. They changed the formula basically, the color. Cause I have the original Laguna bronzer single and then I have this and side by side, they're different colors. But I loved this one a little bit more actually. Um, so I, as you can see, I use this trio all the time. It's a go-to for me. And I've recently hit side pan in the blush. Um, but yeah, I finished that. So my other one that I would really go to is the bronze, take home the bronze from the balm. This is the one I'm wearing today. And it's just a solid, perfect color if you are fairer or if you're a little bit more cool toned. I'm more neutral and it still really works for me because it has a little bit more, I can't really compare it. Um, it has, it's a little bit more ready, ready toned. It's, it's just perfection and I really, really love it. So I'm wearing that one today. And then for blush, this is actually one of my blushes and I'm wearing this one today and I have another one. So I, I have two blushes. This is my more warmer toned one, warm pinky toned. And I use this all the time and it's the orgasm blush from NARS. And like I, a lot of people feel like it's overhyped. For me, I love it. I think it's such a beautiful shade and I do like a bit of shimmer in my blush. Um, I like matte as well, but I do like a little bit of luminosity and I just love that it's pink with a golden shift to it. It's, it's just stunning. I just love it. I love the way it looks on my skin. Um, so this is one of them that I go to. You can tell that this whole palette is a go-to for me um, and this highlighter as well, but often I would use this highlighter because it's next to these two. Um, and then the other blush that I have is from Milani. It's the Pink Play color harmony mm, that's what it's called <laughs> and i don't even know if this is available anymore but this is my more cool toned option and it is just stunning it looks so pretty on the skin it's got the slightest she uh, sheen to it and let me swatch the nars one side by side so i can show you what i mean and i'm surprised when i was picking these out i was like i actually really go for pinky toned blushes because i have a lot of orange tone but when i want that beautiful kind of just like me but glowy i tend to go for pink so this is the orgasm here and then this is the um, milani uh what's it called pink play and they're just such pretty colors on my skin tone so you can kind of see the sun's capturing that luminosity there so yeah they're my two that i would go for um just knowing that they're going to perform and perform well on my skin. Um, for highlight, I don't think this is available anymore, which is why I often don't mention it. And like, like this, I don't, this doesn't exist. This, I don't think exists anymore. This, I don't know. Can you still buy it? I don't know if you can buy this anymore. I don't, this is hard to get. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these products I don't mention because they're not either popular or they're hard to get. So this is no different. This is the Re Makeup Revolution Renaissance Illuminate Radiant in Rose Highlighter Palette. And this definitely doesn't exist. I actually got this for free in one of those makeup for um, makeup revolution like goodie bags. When you buy something, you get like a goodie bag. And this is one of the products and it's absolutely phenomenal. So I use this, this is in my project pan as well. I thought it'd be perfect because I love using it, but I can't sell it to you guys it's not available for you guys so i often use these two as my highlighter and then that is my inner corner that's kind of how it's been working out for me um, but it's really pretty i will show you i've just blended the two here because that's generally how i use it um, and i guess you could call that a blush topper but i always wear blush so that's it there it's so pretty it's just very very luminous and it's got a thick consistency to it, but on the skin, it just blends out perfectly, in my opinion. So that's my favorite highlighter that I've been using. An eyeliner that I use a lot 
that I don't feature on camera much is I don't use a lot of black eyeliner but when I go out I feel like I tend to wear more black eyeliner and it's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion and as you can see I've used a lot of it. I love to tight line with this, it's just such a good quality eyeliner. Um, so that is something that I use a lot. And then my mascara I use a lot is the Hourglass Unlocked. I'm wearing this one today. And it's a tubing mascara, but I love the way it lifts my lashes. So I often wear this when I'm not really wearing makeup, but I want just a tiny bit of makeup, I'll wear this. But I also love wearing it um, to go out because I know it's not going to smudge. It's one of those all-rounder mascaras for me, and I highly recommend it. It's worth worth the hefty price in my opinion. Um, it's a good one. So this is the tubing one. There's also Caution, but this is the unlocked tubing version, the newest one. Okay, let's go into lips and then we'll end with eyeshadows because that's what everyone really wants to talk about, isn't it? Okay, so I bought a, quite a few lip options. My favorite lip liner that I just feel like suits most of my nude lipsticks is my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. It's waterproof. This is the shade 3C and it is so such good quality it doesn't budge it doesn't budge if you want long wear makeup forever lip liners are fantastic and i love this it's got a neutralness to it so it's not too cool tone it's not too warm toned i just love it and then if i showed you my okay i bought my cool toned I know, I'm that person. Because my makeup is warm toned or cool toned. That's it. Today I'm warm toned. But my cool toned that I sh match with this palette that I will show you is my Tom Ford. God, I can barely even read this. Ultra Shine Lip Color in Bare. I don't think this is available. I tried looking for it. That's all I have left. I tried looking for it and I cannot find it anywhere. I don't think it exists. So I need to use this sparingly. This is my wedding day lipstick. It's the perfect cool tone. It's a sheer shine, wears comfortably, looks stunning on the lips. I just love this lipstick so much. And then my going out warm tone is what I'm wearing today. It's the Maybelline, or other spectrum price wise, Maybelline matte lipstick in peach buff. Absolute ride or die, love this. So this is what I'm wearing with um, this lip liner. <sighs> I love it. It's one of those things if you put too much on, it looks really cakey. So definitely don't go overboard with this lipstick. But the co this color, if I put it, it looks so different to the Tom Ford in terms of consistency and color. It's a much more pinky, very pretty. Love it, it's my go-to nude pretty much most of the time. And then my everyday red, my favorite red is um, Lime Crime. So I have a few reds from Lime Crime. This is New Americana, but then also Red Velvet is my favorite. Um, they're all quite similar. The Lime Crime formula in general is my favorite, but I, I love a red lip. I love a bold lipstick. So I had to show you my favorite bold lipstick that I wear off camera a lot. I don't know if this shade is still available. Um, Lime Crime isn't really that spoken about. It's like one of my favorite makeup brands. I love their eyeshadow formulas. Their lips are just, their lip liners, I love, I love. And then my last lip product is something that I just pop on during the day, go to the shops that I love, like an everyday kind of balmy um, product. This is the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Petals. And it's a beautiful pink, very comfortable to wear. Just this one here. And it's such a pretty, pretty shade. So that's what I use on an everyday basis. Let's get into eyeshadow palettes. I just have two. And they're both uh, very boring, very unexciting, but that's that kind of tends to be what I go for if I'm just want reliable going out or everyday. That's kind of what I use. So my probably my most used palette is the Zoeva Blank Fusion. I don't know what's going on with Zoeva, but she's on. they're on sale everywhere. So I reckon they're going under in my opinion. Um, this palette here, you can see it's well loved. So at the top is all shimmers and then at the bottom is all mattes. And if you are fair, this is the perfect eyeshadow palette for fair skin. Um, these first three shades here are just perfect for every day. 
and then you can deepen it up over here and these two shimmers are fantastic they both have a yellow undertone to them um, so you can see here this is just beautiful and even this is quite of a light yellow it's like a golden oh they're so pretty I'm actually wearing the um, this yellow one here in my inner corner today because my other palette is all mattes um, and I just wanted a little bit of brightening so I added that in there so it looks really yellow in the pan but it's actually quite beautiful on the eye and then this one is definitely very yellow so you can kind of see the difference there so yeah there's the three there and then my other one it doesn't look like I've used it a lot but I have and I played with it today and you know we've been in lockdown for three months before that I was pregnant so I haven't actually been that social lately so I haven't been using my ride or die products that much so putting this all together I was like oh my god I totally forgot how much I love this and this palette was one of them this is the makeup revolution oh my baby's crying that's right my husband's with him um, my makeup revolution reloaded basic mattes and they are all mattes I'll show you the back it's the reloaded range and the basic mattes is the palette name and you have cool tone and warm tone mattes all matte no shimmers everything you could ever want and I have quite a few of these I think I had five and I decluttered two I think but this is my favorite one this the quality of this one is above the others I think these retail for eight dollars um, and I've had this for a long time and I just love it because you can it's actually very versatile for a, a mattes palette mattes for a neutrals palette I should say and um, you can go really dark really light warm cool neutral anything you want basically and it's here and that is what i'm wearing on my eyes today i used this one and this one and that's it i used two shades on my eye. oh no that's a lie and then i used that in my first half of my eye to brighten it up a bit and that's all i did and it was so blendable and so easy to use and I will never declutter this and I will never declutter this super boring don't know if you can even get either of them anything that is here I will write it down but if it is still available I will have a link for you but if it's there's no link then I couldn't find a source basically so there's that <laughs> um, but that is everything this is like my favorite kind of like just go to makeup if I was going to a wedding going out to dinner seeing friends this is the kind of makeup that I generally do or I'll do a cool tone version with this this and this that's generally what I would do so I've got my cool toned face and I've got my warm toned face and then I have my like smoky eye fully going out face as well but generally they're the two faces that I go for um, but yeah that is everything let me know if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in my next video bye